All right, hey guys, J-Man here. Um, today, uh, I got Steve with me. We're gonna talk about New Mutants. We saw it last night. So normally this would go part as part of my X-Men talk, but I thought, you know, since Steve saw it with me, uh, I'll have him. And also, neither of us are major New Mutants fans. Um, not to say that, you know, obviously we like X-Men and, and, and superhero stuff and comics, but I never got into New Mutants heavy. I've been reading the current New Mutants by Ed Brisson, and that is what I've been reviewing on my channel, and I'm really loving it a lot. And I've since gone back and tried to read, like I read Dead Souls, which was like the miniseries right before this one. I went back and I, and I actually have issue one in physical form, and I'm trying to go back from the beginning and read um, read all that stuff, but it's tough. There's a lot to go through. I never got into it. I, don't, I just don't know why. So I'm not sure how my comic expertise is going to really play into the review of this movie. So this will be a little bit more of a reviewing the movie more so than in the context of how does this play out as a New Mutants film. Mm -hmm. um, we, I don't want to get into the production of this where, you know, it's, it's, it was delayed and it was, it was made and then it didn't come out and then all this crap. Forget about all that. Let's talk about what we watched in the theater. And we will talk, it'll merge into comics a little bit because it just has to, because that's just what it is. And it'll also merge with the other X-Men movies because they do mention the X-Men in this. Yeah. And they reference Professor X and, yeah. um, and Mr. Sinister. So this is all part of the Fox kind of universe. So how does this go with Dark Phoenix? How does this go with, you know, the Hugh Jackman stuff, right? All right, so I guess, do we want to do like our space Thing for this or do you want to just well well what are your just general thoughts well maybe we should do the let's do the space thing first so okay. space is story pacing the artistry which would include like you know um the look of it music that kind of thing um the characters and then the overall enjoyment and that's how steve and i talk about movies usually so the story we give everything at, something out of two so two is the best one is okay zero is whatever because ultimately you thought the story was garbage you thought it was okay or you thought it was really good yeah. anything in between that it's all binary right it was either yeah. really good or crap so what do you think about the story just the story uh i would give it a one uh, i agree it, it was like I watch, I'm like, it's okay. There, there was, there was like obviously, not obviously, but there was like things that made you like wonder when you're watching the film. Um, you know, there's basically one doctor there and five hyper, you know, powered students. You're like, so, and and it seemed to be like, um, uh, what's her name? Um, Moon. Uh, Moonstar. Moonstar. She got there, and it seemed to like like magic and Sunspot and Cannonball and of course uh, Wolfbane were very like way before then and the way they presented magic she was like this rebellious person who was like in everyone's face and I'm like you're telling me they didn't try to overpower her already like it seemed to be an obvious thing where it would be like he would they would go in like especially magic and she can go into limbo so why can't she just teleport out right? I, I thought that instantaneously because and, and and maybe reading the comics didn't help me in this one because yeah she teleports i don't know if they're trying to say her powers weren't there yet she can only do short distances but i feel like if the barrier is like this can she not go to here and then yeah and then teleport like if there's like i've seen her in the comics teleport like crazy distances but like yeah. even if this is the barrier and she's standing here why can't she just teleport to there Exactly. I, I, they didn't do a good job of explaining um, the doctor's powers. And I, and I no. didn't recognize her off the bat. We did Google her. Yeah. Uh, she does have the force field power. So again, I don't know every mutant because there's been 4,000 mutants. <laughs> yeah. I knew the cast. Like I know yeah. Danny. I, I, I yeah. know Magic, like Ileana. Yeah. I never mentioned Colossus, but in, in any case. Um, so I know all of those characters, and obviously Lockheed, which we'll get to. Um, so I recognize all those. I know them, and I know their powers. Like, and Cannonball shouldn't be able to get hurt. Yeah. I, I don't know if they're saying that. I know he was punching himself. Yeah. So he was hurting himself, and maybe that's how he got hurt because in Cannonball form, mm -hmm. he cannot be injured. He's yeah. also immortal, which is a whole Rob Liefeld X Force thing. 
he's like yeah. external or whatever he is or eternal no external yeah external something like that so okay anyways so yeah i agree with you it's like it was weird it's like why didn't these guys escape and what how could they not escape with one doctor running this enormous huge building yeah like i just can't see her containing everybody no no it didn't make any sense um and, and just like a lot of things just that that was the big thing like i don't understand um the whole dynamic between like the, if it's almost seemed like characters came and went like sunspot would be usually like washing dishes and i'm like is this the best we can do of sunspot like yeah. this guy is pretty cool like uh, you know his powers are awesome and like it just seemed weird as far as the, the injured arm i thought that as well I literally thought like the actor literally broke his arm in real life and they're like, oh, we'll just put that in the movie. That's what I thought. Because it literally made no sense to me. Cannonball is like one of the most powerful yeah. mutants I was aware of. So I'm like, uh, you know, and like what happens to the broken arm? What happens to the cast when he's cannonballing around? Because there's like energy all around him. It, it yeah. was really weird. Yeah, this is what, this is the kind of thing that happens when you start getting into this grounded, yeah, realistic thing, which we always complain about, it's like it doesn't work. It, it's like it, if Cannonball is a, re, if you're if you're really trying to be like, what would really happen? Well, that cast would be demolished. Yeah, right. W would his clothes go on fire? Like Sunspot lost his clothing. Yes, but but Cannonball didn't. Now you could say it's the Superman theory, which when Cannonball gets his energy he's got like a little bit of a bubble around him where he's protected mm -hmm. everything outside of that bubble. So if he's wearing a t-shirt, I'm wearing my new mutant shirt. Yeah. If he's wearing a t-shirt, that's not going to be affected. Yeah. But I don't, I don't, I don't know because yeah. sunspot is affected. Right. Yeah. Um, and, and, and the other ones aren't like Wolf, Wolfsbane, like she, you know, like how, how hairy does she get? Like we didn't explore yeah. that. Like, for a serious grounded movie, exploring their powers and their psyche and all that, we didn't get a lot of that. We got a lot of no. scenes where they're just talking about, oh, this place sucks. And yeah. it's like everyone has like a sad story, which is fine. But this almost felt like this movie almost felt like this story. Let's keep it on story. This yeah. story almost felt like it was really a 30 minute mm -hmm. first act of a movie. Mm -hmm where they would escape in the beginning yeah. and then be like, oh, what should we do now that we've escaped? Maybe we'll team up and, and, and fight the bad guys, or I don't know, right? Yeah. And go on an adventure. Yeah. Which seems like this movie should have been condensed into 30 minutes, and yeah. then the next hour would have been the adventure outside of the hospital, and perhaps Mr. Sinister uh, on, on, the, on like sending out guys to capture them. Yeah. Something like Logan, where you know, they're trying to get X-23 back or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, but then I guess that would have been too much like Logan <laughs> or, or, or X-23's story. But okay, so I agree with you. It's a one, it's not It's not garbage. It's not no. like, you know, I'm like, yeah, it's okay. It's, it, it's it, it, the story's the story. The pacing, what do you think? I thought it was pretty good. It went by pretty fast. A couple of little dips. One and a half, I'm I'm giving it. Like yeah. we we looked at each other after the time was up. We're like, oh, it's 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 over. Like okay, like I I don't think the runtime was. It definitely wasn't two hours. No, ninety. I'm I've got I've got the Wikipedia open. It's ninety eight minutes. Oh wow. So that's a that's actually the perfect time. Yeah. For this kind of story. Um, but I would have preferred a two hour version uh -huh. where the first half an hour was yeah. this yeah. condensed. And then yeah. the next part was the the fighting of the guys, um, but yeah, one and a half. Like as what we watched, there was a couple of parts where it dipped a little bit. And I thought this yeah. is a little slow, but it kind of wasn't too bad because it's it was bad. short, anyways. Yeah, it was. Um, it was like they 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 did a good job of keeping your interest. I would say overall, right? Yeah. I agree that there were some times, like especially when they got into the whole relationship between Spain and Danny, where I was kind of like. Oh, okay. Like, I guess they're trying to go in this vein. And I think that's actually pretty comic accurate. I remember reading that Danny and Wolfsbane were like pretty close. So I'm like, okay, this, this is fine. Mm. But like, I think they already established that. And then they kept going a bit farther and a bit farther and a bit farther. I'm like, just get to it already. I, I sort of thought that in my head. Yeah. I, I liked the scene where they're looking up at the. Yeah. The, at yeah. The, that was cool. 
that was nice. And actually, I found this to be one of the better. I know this is this is the you know we have to throw this in there. Um, yeah. the, the the two girls. But I felt that it it happened naturally. Naturally, yeah. In the in this movie. And I was very surprised at how natural it was. Maybe that's to the testament of the actors, which we'll yeah. get into. But I thought I thought that this was very natural, unlike other movies where they've tried to insert this as part of their, you know, agenda, if you want to call it an agenda. And then it doesn't feel natural at all, where it feels yeah. like it's been inserted. But this didn't feel that way. I felt that it was very natural. And that scene together with the two of them and they kissed, that was just perfect and then really after that you don't need to go back to that like it's like we got it now they're together done so yeah, like yeah. at that point in time the next part of the movie would have been them escaping and then Think, it would have yeah. been an hour of yeah them on the road so you establish the characters everyone had their little intro yeah sunspot you know burnt his girlfriend cannonball yeah. blew up that the mine the mine um, yeah that's fine <clears throat> and then and then we get on to the the rest of it but okay so yeah, pacing wasn't too bad. I'm trying to note these down because I'm going to forget what we rated them. Um, now, what well, next thing would be the the artistry. So, like, I did feel that for what this movie was, it looked good. The mm -hmm. music was passable, but I also felt it seemed. I know it's it seemed a little bit dim, and I know it's supposed to be dim. Uh, and I'm not sure this is the first movie we've seen in non IMAX in a long, yeah. long time. So I'm not sure if it just felt a little darker than it than it kind of needed to be. Um, yeah, yeah. And I it, felt that it wasn't as creepy. No, as yeah, this is almost like a very, very light intro, intro horror movie where it's yeah. not really a horror movie. It's a little, if you're a little kid, you might get creeped out a, a little bit, but for me, it was like I mean, uh, I've, I've seen you know like it was nothing. Like it, this wasn't yeah. a horror movie. There was no jump scares, which I yeah. don't really care about anyways. But they didn't even attempt. They, they may have attempted a couple of jump scares, but it did not work. Um, but it still looked okay. I'm going to say it's a one, I think. For yeah, that. I agree it's a one. Like, I think that the characters looked good. Like, when Magic yeah. got her arm, that looked yeah, good. That was cool. I will say I didn't care for how the action was shot, especially at the end. There yes. were some times where I was like, I couldn't tell what was going on. And you can tell it was too dark because it went from dark to light. And my, I went like that, like my eyes actually like got affected yeah. by that. You know how you're in a dark room and then all of a sudden the bright light hits you? Yeah. It shows me that they probably went a little bit too dark with the cinematography. Mm -hmm. The music made no impression on me. Like mm -hmm. it, I don't even know if there was music. So I don't know yeah. if that you consider that good or not. Uh, I, I, you know, like I always said like music's supposed to enhance it, but like it's not supposed to like take over. So you can take that for what you will. Yeah. I will say that like Sunspot looked good when Cannonball was Cannonballing, it was good. Yeah. It just wasn't shot like really well, I don't think. Like especially mm -hmm. the action scenes, it was it was pretty like, you know, and it seemed almost like they were trying to hide like what what happens at the end to the doctor. They were almost like trying to hide it. Like you sort of saw it in the distance, and you're like, yeah. well, I guess that's that. But like there there was no like i agree i couldn't even remember i thought i was watching a psychological thriller or psychological drama for most of it yeah. where like i know they did the smiley man at the end and that was supposed to be all creepy i don't care about that sort of thing nothing happened you got five like really powerful mutants in the building they're going to take out these guys like whatever you know so one i think is fair yeah i i never felt that they were in danger no like ever like no. i knew for sure that they're gonna kick like i mean magic can wipe the floor with these people i know i, I know that they've depowered them um i noticed a problem with the action soon oh by the way spoilers do we even have to say that this movie's old yeah. this is yeah, an yeah. old movie that's coming out now you know yeah. it's like whatever we all knew there wasn't any surprises no i mean really like when we saw Essex Corp, it's like, oh, Essex, oh, okay. Yeah. You know, I guess is that a minor? And, and I spoiled that already, so who cares? If you want to be pissed off at me, go ahead. Okay. But I notice a problem when um, the giant creature bear thing shows up. Yeah. And cannonball is like, I'm going to go out to help. And he charges. And we never got to see what happened. Like, it's like he charged. Yeah. And then I didn't, I thought I'd see like a good, a cool shot of him, like, you know, flying yeah. forward and going like, Oof. You know, or yeah. everything, like knocking it, but we didn't see that. I'm like, no. did we cut a scene out? Like, what happened? It just felt weird. And then magic disappears 
for a minute and then as she yeah. reappears it's like where was she yeah there's only five people okay it's an action sequence with five characters fighting a creature and two of those characters one of them is incapacitated because she's dreaming it yeah the other character is nursing the danny so wolf's yeah. Bane is nursing danny yeah and the other three are engaged in a battle but sunspot for the first you know half of the battle is also in hiding right so you only have magic fighting the bear and then cannonball jumps in and then sunspot comes in at yeah. the, towards the end of that and i'm like why can't i tell exactly where everyone is and what, how they're fighting like that was weird yeah, yeah it was this, isn't, this isn't lord of the rings no you have the fellowship of nine or whatever it is engaged in several skirmishes and you're like whoa okay what was legolas doing again like i understood yeah. everything in lord of the rings and there was like nine guys to follow um this one was a little bit i mean i could follow it I, we're, yeah. we're not dumbasses we know what's going on but it's just a, i didn't see it as well as i could have i don't know if that's the the fault of the theater being darker i felt it was yeah. darker than it needed to be this could be like a conan the barbarian remake mm. sequel where I saw it in the theater, I'm like, I can't tell what's going on. And then I watched it at home. I'm like, wow, I can see everything perfectly on Blu-ray. So that's weird. We'll see what happens if when this comes out on Blu-ray, because Disney doesn't want to release anything to, to us people who want to spend money on it. But yeah, yeah, they don't want our money. They don't want our money. All right, so <clears throat> let's get into the characters. So I'm going to I'm gonna say this is where the movie leveled it up, because mm -hmm. I liked everybody. This yeah. is one of these times where I really actually liked everybody, and I thought yeah. each person was well portrayed for their comic counterpart, I, except for the doctor who I don't know. Um, I, I liked Danny a lot, yeah. I, don't, I don't know why. Yeah, she was cool. I, I don't know, I really liked her a lot. And I'm like, oh, okay. And Magic, I, we knew Magic was gonna be the best because she just looks exact. That yeah. actress is great. She's exactly Magic. Like, if one, if they ever did a part two and they just gave her the, 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 the things that or whatever, the fins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and gave her, and gave her the proper arm. It was so weird. They, they, they gave her the armor on the wrong arm. I, I believe, <laughs> she, I believe it's, I believe it's her left arm Back. Yeah. that has it, but her right arm, has, I, I guess that's not really a big deal. Who cares? But it's just weird. Like, why not? Just yeah. Her, like, what's the difference? Um, yeah. They didn't go full out on the powers, right? Like you can see in your background there. Danny's got like her her arrow and all that. Yeah. So we didn't have any of that. She didn't have her pigtails. Like, why couldn't they just give her the pigtails? The pigtails. Like, I don't see. Like, these are little things that like, what does it matter? Like, Sunspot is perfect when he transforms. He looks like Sunspot. He's yeah. dark. He's got a little bit of glowing, just like your picture in the back. Yeah. Uh, Danny's. I mean, uh, Ileana. Like, Magic is pretty good. Can Cannonball's okay. It's yeah. like Danny could easily be tweaked a little bit to give her more of the native look. I don't know if they literally didn't want to give the native look because they were scared that they're saying this is a typical native look, but that's her look. I mean, whatever. Yeah. But I mean, I, I still liked her. I liked, I liked everybody. In yeah. This. Yeah. I, I did too. I thought, um, I thought magic really stood out, but she sort of stood out because she was the antagonist for quite a bit of the film. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I read, uh, I read online that they were saying that, um, the can in Charlie Heaton, uh, who played Cannonball oh, and um, Anya, Ter like their, their accents were ridiculous. And I remember thinking, okay, like I watched, and I watched the movie, I'm like, I don't find them ridiculous. Like, like Maisie Williams also had, did a really good Scottish accent, but like, I didn't find her and I'm like, oh, he, 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 like, I didn't find it like ridiculous. Like someone said that, um, I read that, uh, like someone compared uh cannonball's accent to like barney fife from the andy griffith oh, show and I'm like, yeah i know it, it's it was ridiculous i really genuinely liked everyone as well i was really shocked how much i liked Maisie williams as uh um, yeah. as rain She's like awesome. I, I i i really didn't because i i mentioned this to you afterwards wolf's fame didn't really fit in the movie in my yes. opinion like in comparison to what the other actors could well not the other actors but the other characters had like Cannonball could literally just blow out of the building if he wanted to. Sunspot could have burnt the doctor like that, you know, like magic could have just, you know, like they all have super extreme powers and then like, oh, she can turn into a wolf. I'm like, okay. Yeah. But like, yeah, they were all really good. So I'll give this one a one and a half. I will say that I would have liked to have seen a bit more with like, it seems sometimes we would miss Cannonball. Sometimes we would miss Sunspot mm -hmm. for a while. 
like it didn't seem they were always using them at the best of their ability they sort of focused they focused on the women i guess more than the guys a bit so sometimes yes. sometimes you would sit there and you're like hey i haven't seen sunspot for a while or i haven't seen cannonball for a while so you're just hanging about um but like overall i really liked everyone and i don't really have any complaints um I think it's Alice Bragan played the doctor. She was yeah, fine. She's, cool. she's cool. She was fine. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, you, you just, you just touched upon something that I didn't realize, which is that this is very female heavy and, yeah. and, 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 I, and I, I, didn't, I didn't think of it. And um, I guess that's a positive because yeah. I, I, I was, I was, I was going to say 1.5. I'm going to, I'm going to make it a two. You know okay. I'm going to make it a two because of your point just now. They're focusing on the ladies, which, you know, that's trendy to do now, but it didn't feel as though they were forcing that yeah. upon us. It just seemed like, well, yeah, Danny's our link to the story. Yeah. So we're following her. Um, you know, Sunspot's kind of a fun character who just pops in and out to tell his jokes, which is like in the comics. He, he makes yeah. little silly jokes and his humor. And it's like, yeah, and I never noticed that it was a lot of the fe- like there's a lot of females. It's all female cast except for those two guys. But it's a small cast, but yeah, I feel that you know they didn't, yeah, a little maybe a little smidge, they focused a little less on Sunspot. He got kind of the lesser, yeah. But I noticed too that they picked the easier guys, except yeah. Magic. I would have I would have probably thought that Cipher would have been picked instead of Magic, but you know it's like cypher he does computer stuff so yeah i mean he's he does co- he, he can read codes and he can you know he can decipher anything and it's like well what's he gonna really do yeah so he's a weird and obviously warlock the machine warlock is gonna be i know they're not gonna use that him um but they use lockheed and they gave him to iliana which i don't know this so this could be a big fail on my part because i didn't research it if he started out with her but i don't think so he is with kitty all the time he's a yeah. Kid character i have no idea why they threw that in here it was very cool to see him yeah and he looked wicked like when he yeah. was the dragon uh and i want a pet dragon so if that ever happens i want one um but it was like yeah what the heck like that was a weird again another weird choice like they have him in there and they talk about x-men and all that but they don't mention colossus they give Lockheed yeah. to the wrong person I don't know why they thought, I guess they thought we want to throw him in here. We're never going to see him. So throw him in. So I think it, it made to them, it made sense because they basically said that Lockheed came from limbo. Like she basically. sort of talks about like, Oh, you know, my friend Lockheed, I met him in limbo and he's like the puppet she has throughout it is a stand in for Lockheed who she found in limbo. And at right. the end we got limb like actual Lockheed. I also knew it was Kitty and I'm like, that's kind of weird. It made sense in the context of the story they were telling. Yeah. But like, I I also like I I kind of get a little bit like frosty when that sort of happens. Like, guys, just give it give it to the right person. Like, they spent so much time focusing. Like, I went back and reread everything, and they gave everyone the right powers, mm-hmm. right? Even though the, like it, it was a little bit off. Like Cecilia Rice has the ability to put up the force fields, which who the hell heard of Cecilia Rays before that movie? Yeah. Like, I, I'm like, I don't know this character. Like, you know, I don't even know that they, they make it up for the movie. And I'm like, no, it's like, okay, she's a villain in this. And I think she's a good guy in the, she oh. helps the X-Men in the comics. But like, I don't know. It was, it was weird how they would be comic accurate. Like the demon bear is from the comics. Yeah. Um, But then they would just be like, oh, we'll give Lockheed to the magic. I'm like, okay. She doesn't need him. Yeah. She doesn't need that, you know. So yeah, it's weird. Okay, so what do you want to do for the characters? Do you are we judging by the movie, just the movie, not me thinking outside of the movie? I really liked everybody. I would give it a two. If yeah. one point five is fair, if you start to think about little things like, wow, well, this guy kind of got shafted and he should be more. You yeah, know, it's like I don't know. Let's keep that open then. Okay, we'll keep it, we'll keep it open for now. I'll put one point five and two. Okay. Um. <clears throat> So next is just the enjoyment. So like this is this is an arbitrary number. Like, you know, I'm gonna probably just say it's a one. I liked it. Yeah. I'm I'm not. I don't think it was crap. I don't think it was garbage. I don't. I, I think it's worth seeing. I think it's worth having it in my collection. I am gonna get it. Um, I was gonna buy it regardless. Yeah. 
But I like that they tried. I'm going to applaud the fact that they tried to do something yeah. a little bit different. And at least they did it with new mutants. They didn't try to do something weird with Wolverine and Storm or whatever. Mm -hmm. They picked characters who are weird and they have troubled, you know, pasts or whatever. Yeah. And, you know, they have to come together. So I do like that idea that they're not, quote unquote, going to try to ruin you know, other characters. And The New Mutants is a very weird comic. If you look back through it, there's been weird, dark moments. Yeah. There's been very silly things happening. I mean, the current New Mutants is all over the place. They were in space, then they're fighting these, like, guys who hate them. Like, it, 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 you know, there's, like, a home invasion where these guys, you know, like, were trying to kill uh, some of the New Mutants, like, at their house and, and stuff. It's like, that was the current thing. But then there's one where they went into space and cannonballs in space and sunspots like i'm gonna buy a lawyer and all that mm -hmm. okay so there's it's you mutants is the one to experiment with if you're going to experiment with anyone and also i think that when the movie is over this is a good judge when the movie is over how excited are you to see where it goes from here so i was thinking oh i'd like to see the next movie yeah. um yeah. So to me, that's good. Maybe yeah. even one and a half. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, I, I think a one is is it's fair. Is fair. I think that like, it. I didn't walk out or upset. I did feel a bit like because of how the story went and how it ended. I felt almost like it was like a TV movie at times, mm -hmm. um, just because like. The, the, the problem with the movie from my perspective, what, besides what we mentioned at the start with the story, was nothing really big happened. Mm -hmm. Like, it was very much like, and when you start to compare it to other, like, not even comparing it to other comic book movies, but other similar movies in similar settings, like Sucker Punch. Right. <laughs> Sucker Punch knocked this out of the park. Right? So... I almost feel like I, I'm going to give it a one. I agree that I have to admire the fact they tried something different with a comic book movie. You know, it wasn't really an action movie. It's more of a horror-ish, yeah. not horror movie, but horror-ish movie. Um, I do agree about the, the, the um, they really didn't shove the whole feminism down your throat. They allowed them just to be strong women as opposed to yes. talking about them being strong women. Yes. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm going to give two to the characters. Yeah, yeah. Because, I agree now that I'm thinking about two. Yeah, because you're making good points here. It's like, yeah, I, this is the way you're supposed to do these things. Yeah. Where two of us, you and I, you know, two straight white males. Yeah. Like, yeah we're like, that was, you know, I really liked all these characters. They're really good. And we never thought, oh, yeah, they're all women. It's like, I never thought of that. Yeah. I literally, just, oh, I always liked magic anyways. I have a statue yeah. of magic. Everyone sees her in every video I do in the back. But, I mean, the other characters, it's like, Danny, I thought was so good. Yeah, and I didn't expect to think she was going to be that good. Honestly, I I, yeah. I do have a little bit of affinity for native characters. I don't know. Yeah. How, my uncle's actually native, but like I have this. I always think they're kind of cool. Like I always like you know, like I love Warpath and Thunderbirds, like my friggin' favorite. Yeah, um, but Danny, I was like, yeah, she's okay. But yeah. they gave her a good character here, and and I think making her like they gave all these characters really. They made them all very vulnerable, so you automatically yeah. like them. Yeah, yeah. Macy Williams was like very standout. Like she was so good, mm -hmm. and, 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 and like you felt bad for her. Like you did feel yeah. bad for her. Yeah. I mean, and, and um, and yeah, I like I like that the I the best scene was the two of them together with looking up at the dome or whatever for drama yeah. and like something that naturally happens without it being forced. And we can see these coming a mile away. No yeah. boy watching the movie like, oh, here we go. Yeah. Here comes the here comes the scene where they're gonna have these characters, you know, oh she's gay, and then that's gonna be their they're gonna put that on the tagline saying, see you, see how see how trendy we are. And it's like yeah. just have the characters be normal. You know, yeah. I always use Captain Jack uh from Doctor Who as a perfect example of like how you do how you have a character be a strong character and have people yes. like them. You know, it's yes. like make them a like. And I think the five characters in this and the girls too, like the three girls especially, they were likable and you wanted to like them and you did like them and they're cool. That's how you do it. Don't force me. Don't tell me this is the character you're supposed to like. And if you don't yeah. like them, you're, you're, uh, you're an ist or a phobe, right? It's yeah. like, no, give me good characters and then I'll like them. Yeah. When Macy Williams was like, 
uh, like all like down and like, oh, yeah. no. like, I felt super bad for him. I was yeah. like, oh, this sucks. You know, and then, and then, and Dan, yeah, Danny was sick. I, I don't know. I, like, Magic is obviously the best, but I'm, yeah. I'm thinking like those two. I don't know. I, I actually liked everyone. And actually, yeah, yeah. The three girl, I would say the three girls were all the best, and then the two yeah. guys were, were second, which yeah. is great because, um, because I don't think the two guys sucked either. No, no, they weren't terrible. That's how you do that. Yeah, yeah, like, they're, they're I agree. Two. I agree. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that I think that's a fair rating. I I I like. I liked what they tried to do, and I would be intrigued. I would watch the sequel. I'd be intrigued to see what the sequel, where the sequel took them. For sure. You know, um, you know, it'd be cool if they actually showed up as like a mini, not with the X Men, but the X Men were in this big fight with someone, and then they showed up on the side. That'd be cool, right? And then uh, uh, Colossus could be like, Ileana, I like, I lost you, like you're back, yeah, like, yeah. sort of thing." <laughs> Well, we're at, okay, so we're at six and a half out of 10. Does that sound like a fair rating for what yeah. you saw? Yes. I think so. Yes. That sounds very fair. We're not, we're not gushing over it. It's not Infinity War or whatever. No. But I liked it. Um, I don't know. It, it was, I liked it. I'm yeah. not dying over it. And I do think, I, I think that had they made a few changes and expanded the scope a little yeah. bit more and have Mr. Sinister even possibly, yeah. I think it would have been even better. You still could have had the same, I think in 98 minutes, they could have accomplished all of that in 40 minutes. Yeah. And then still have maybe an hour after that. So you would have made it one hour and 40 minutes of yeah. adventuring or something yeah showcasing the powers a bit more like i would have liked to have seen you know magic fight a little bit more and Can i would like to have seen cannonball really like destroy shit um I, like, this almost felt like a tv movie yeah it did feel like a tv movie and, and not and not a crappy like no. I'm not saying that as an insult because now we've got like netflix has some great stuff right like this yeah. felt like it could have been like a netflix film yeah and, and and not really needed to be a big a big go see this in the theater and all that, which is why I think maybe the studio thought, well, because like Dark Phoenix, which I do like, is maybe just slightly above a made for like a, a, a yeah. Netflix. I don't want to say Netflix movie like that's like we're being negative because Daredevil yeah. is one of my favorite TV shows of all time ever. Yeah, it's yeah. Netflix. Yeah, um, it's, awesome. it's awesome. But like, it's almost like when you watch Dark Phoenix, you're like the ending with the train battle you're like okay this is really awesome yeah so that felt more like it elevated it to yes. theater, theater status yeah new mutants it's like had i watched this at, on netflix at home i'd have the same rating yeah you know what i mean it's not like when we saw tron legacy or something and we're like oh yeah oh, that was yeah cool, crazy this is awesome you know or even like inception or something yeah you know where like, like something oh, this is so cool yeah, like something with a big like scope and a big setting. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah, that would have been. I would have liked to have seen them push the horror a bit more too. Yeah. Like, if if they're doing something with your worst fears, they could have gone a bit farther. It's almost like they wanted to, and then so it got scaled back because someone didn't want to go that far because they think they would turn off a general audience. Possibly. But a general audience is not going to, I would say, go into New Mutants. Like, this is a very niche film. Yeah. Right. Like, I wonder how many people walked into that movie and they mentioned the X-Men and people were stunned and like, the X-Men. Oh, I guarantee you a lot of people, except the title says Mutants, so you know that. Yeah. But, I mean, even with that, I would I would not have been surprised if 50% of the people going in, and when they say, oh, X-Men, and he's in the wheelchair pretending to be, pretending to be Professor X, yeah, they'd be like, oh, is this an X-Men thing? Like, I... I yeah, I'm not surprised because I've actually, I actually know a few people, I'm not going to mention their names, who have said to me, oh, this looks really interesting. And I've responded to saying, well, you've hated or you've never been interested in any X-Men movies prior to this. And I'm like, oh, is this an X-Men movie? And I'm like, well, yeah, it's mutants. And I'm like, well, they were just thinking, well, they're just mutants because mutant is, mutant doesn't, is not an X-Men term that they created. It's a mutation, yeah. right? And I was like, no, new mutants is literally like a Marvel comic. It's like, oh, okay. It's like, there's the Marvel logo. And it's just, you know? Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, it's good. I liked it. Didn't love it, but I didn't hate it. Um, where does it fit within other X Men movies? It's hard to say because the faults of the other X Men movies are sometimes corrected by the fighting. So, yes. you know, my faults of the first X Men film 
are similar to the faults of this New Mutants film, yeah. except the X Men film still had Wolverine and Sabretooth fighting yeah. and Magneto moving shit around. Yeah. Like, okay, so that was cool. You know, like this ain't better than X Men Part Two, right? Which right. had a lot more fighting and, and better, more mutants added. And then X Men Three has a X Men Three story is garbage. Yeah. Right, last stand. The story is horrendously awful, and the characters are pretty shitty. But there's like a super battle with guys yeah. using their powers, so it's hard to rate this. This is yeah, this one's really hard. I would say I would put it somewhere like either middle or slightly down middle. Yeah, like I think that after the the crap show that was Wolverine uh, Origins, yeah. they're really course corrected with the next two. Yes, right? it's not better than the two Deadpool movies. No way. Um. You know, as far as the X Men go, I would say that that's that's a that's a tough one, man. It's that's tough. really tough because I have a lot of like mixed feelings about most of the X Men movies. Like, there's very there, I don't think there's actually one X Men movie where I was flat out always pumped. I was flat out pumped up for. It. I've always had issues with the X Men movies, yeah. so I I would say like definitely not better than the two Deadpool's. Definitely not better than the the latter two Wolverine movies sure. and then we'll have that discussion because yeah. you could you could really make a case yeah that's a tough one because yeah definitely the two the yeah Wol- the Wolverine and Logan are awesome yeah the two Deadpool movies are super awesome that's like yeah. really awesome. I really like Dark Phoenix but you know also Phoenix and like Scott and Gene are my two favorite they're my top five favorite characters of all of anything yeah and, <clears throat> I like that they're together and Cyclops uses powers and it was the correct yeah. powers and Phoenix fought guys. I like both actors a lot. I love Sophie Turner. She's awesome. I've got the Dark Phoenix poster right here. So Dark yeah. Phoenix is a personal, like like Dark Phoenix is my favorite mutant movie. Yeah. But I can't make many arguments to support why it's my favorite. It's, yeah. just a, it's like a guilty pleasure movie. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like film critic... Jason is like Logan is the best, obviously. Yeah. Logan is yeah. the best movie. It's a great movie. I love Wolverine. He's in my top ten characters, anyways. Yeah. So guaranteed, like those are the that movie's the best. And the Wolverine, I really like. I feel yeah. like it doesn't get a lot of love. It's in Japan, which I love Japan. I love all yeah. the characters. I know Silver Samurai is a bit weird, but I thought it was wicked fighting. Yeah. The storyline yeah. was great. Wolverine Origins, yeah, I mean, except for the two of them, Sabretooth and Wolverine, the rest of that stuff around them is garbage. Garbage, yeah. The relationship between those two is cool. And yeah. And fighting through all the wars together. And, yeah. You know, that was neat. And I kind of feel that I wish they would have brought Liev Schreiber back. Back, yeah. Logan, to ha- instead of having the evil Logan have him yeah. fight. But anyways, well, I don't want to get into the Wolverine debate. Yeah, this movie, unfortunately, just because of the way it is, it's going to be under those five yeah. for sure. Yeah. And then probably under Apocalypse and probably under First Class and probably under Days of Future Past. Future past yeah. I, I mean, because those are all not too bad either. It, it, it's, it starts to get in. It, it's better than maybe X-Men. No, I don't know. It's, see, it's going to be one of the lower tiered ones. Yeah, it's got to be. It's not bad, but just because there's no scope to it. Because the storyline and the characters are better than some of those other ones. Yes. Fortunately, those other ones have action where I can click, right? This is the problem yeah. when you take an action series yeah. and flip it. And they didn't flip it to horror because they toned down the horror maybe yeah. because of what you said. Like if Danny is bringing your worst fear, it's like, okay, your worst fear is, you know, sunspot burning his girlfriend and all that. I'm like, okay, but that's not my worst fear. Yeah. Like, it doesn't affect me. That's the problem with fear. It's like your worst fear and my worst fear are not the same, but they're not even general worst fears. Like Sunspot's worst fear is that his girl that he burnt his girlfriend. Yeah. That makes sense. And that's true in the story. And he's very upset over that. But that doesn't make it very compelling for me because it's like, oh, it's just like some girl that comes out of the pool. I'm like, well, Sunspot could just fire her and destroy her. Like, I don't get it. So I'll be honest with you, I never felt like Sunspot or Cannonball, um, you know were were like they were like fierce they were guilt right yeah. i am most guilty for this yes. okay that's right a good point. where magic and uh rain was fear it mm-hmm. was like the branding and these yes. weird smiley guys if they had taken fear instead of guilt it would have been better oh that's a good point dude 
Oh man, you're right. You're right. I, another, uh, this is six and a half. We may have to take this down to six out of 10 because I just thought of another thing. Where was the doctor's fears? Yes. Yes, yeah, that's a really good point. If, if there's only there's only six people in that building. Yeah. Why didn't we see the doctor's fears? Yeah, that's true. Because she has no control of who she's not target. She can target in the comics. Like she can yeah. say, I'm going to make you, Steve, have the, the nightmares or the fears. But in this movie, she's uncontrolled. Yeah. So why the, why was the doc or di, or did we see the doctor's fears? Because I don't think we did. I don't recall seeing them. If if somebody saw this movie and we saw the doctor's fears and we forgot, let us know. But the fact that if we did forget, it wasn't played up enough then. No, we just yeah. didn't fail. Yeah. So I don't know. It's, it's we're at six and a half out of ten. Should we go to six or are we okay with six and a half and just call that as part of the? I, I think six and a half is still fine because yeah, the I thing, think it's still fine, yeah. Because the thing is, is that if we start picking it apart, like we're, you know, we're sort of trying to balance between a um, serious critical thing and, hey, I'm just a guy walking into a movie. I sat down and spent my $15. I got 100 minutes of entertainment. How entertained was I? Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. That That's true. Yeah, I know. I don't, I, I don't like getting too analytical on these yeah. things because it's a, it's an art form it's enjoyment yeah They're, they said this i guess we can end on this point if you agree um i, I was i was i listened to the rob liefeld ca- uh, podcast and he mentions that the guys and there's john Byrne and all and he said and and john Byrne's thing was every comic that's ever been produced is somebody's first comic yeah i think it was john Byrne who said so someone picks it up and it's like that's the first comic they've ever read yeah same thing with this movie right there's going to be someone out there who thinks this is the best x-men movie and yeah there's going to be someone out there who thinks it's a piece of garbage yeah and, and and how are you gonna you know it's like me i love dark phoenix everyone else hates it or yeah doesn't like it as much so it's just a thing so yeah we can't get too analytical because we're going to start losing the essence of yeah, you and I, we had a rough day at work or yeah. had a crappy day at work. Hey, why don't we meet up? I had a big freaking thing of popcorn. I had my M&Ms. Yeah. I sat down, we watched them. We were like, that was all right. Yeah. You know, he walked out saying, yeah, I really liked, you know, the girls in this movie were really cool. Yeah. yeah. The guys were just there. But um, also, I tend to like female characters a lot, which I don't know yeah. if people, like, all of my favorite characters, I had this in university, we had a discussion on this in class about, female superheroes and i'm like well i was like one. i collected all the wonder woman supergirl you know whatever but yeah so it's like i liked i liked the movie so yeah six and a half i think is fair um and yeah for somebody they're gonna be like this is their favorite x-men movie so we're not gonna sit here and tell them how dumb they are for thinking it's their best it's exactly the best like if someone tells you x-men origins wolverine is their favorite movie then maybe we can <laughs> have a discussion but if someone tells you if someone says New Mutants is my favorite X Men movie, I'm probably not going to get angry about it. Yeah, yeah. Or, or think yeah. that they're an idiot. Yeah. I'm like, okay, yeah, that was a cool movie. Done. You know. Yeah. 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 I agree. Mental. I agree. <laughs> All, right. All right. Well, I guess that's it then for now. Um, thanks for joining me on this review, Steve. And uh, no problem. I will. Uh, yeah, we'll just go from there. All right. Thanks, guys.